when I work with organizations and executive women on beating burnout, one of the key strategies is all centered around communication. Having conversations, dialogue with your direct manager, communicating your specific circumstances. In fact, just in last week's video, I was even talking about this type of communication. Never, ever, ever assume that even your direct manager has any idea exactly what your workload is, much less assume that they know what your personal responsibilities are. Don't assume they're just going to create accommodations for you. You need to communicate. Now, what I find is challenging for some is the confidence it takes to have the communication. Uh, maybe there's some fear behind even asking, or they maybe aren't fearful, but their approach is a lacking confidence. The conversation sounds more like, well, this is kind of happening, and, and you know, I'm, I'm really stressed out. Do you think it would be possible? No, no. We wanna come at it from a place of strength. Now, it's not to come in and bulldoze. It's not to come in and be abrasive and forceful, but it's about being grounded in why you are communicating, why you may be asking for something that you want. So confidence all starts with the why, the purpose of the conversation, the purpose of the ask. So when I went in and communicated that I was hoping to work from home on Fridays, I came in with the confidence to say, look, I want to serve my organization as best I can. That's why I'm coming into the office early. I'm traveling out of state several times a month. I'm traveling far distances on the road to see my other clients. I'm also here for my team and I want to continue to do that. But because of this rigorous travel schedule, it means that I haven't been sleeping as much and I'm not seeing my family as much as I can. And this is all affecting my productivity in the long run. So one idea I have is for me to work from home on Fridays. That'll allow me to catch up on an extra hour of sleep and then I can be home when my kids get home and I, and I get to see them. I'm not using that time on the road. I came in with the purpose, the why behind it. It wasn't a frivolous ask, oh, I think it would be great to just wear my pajamas or my athleisure wear all day, so I'm gonna go in and ask to work from home. No. So if you have a really strong reason, purpose, why, then your confidence should be able to match that when you go in and communicate. So before even crafting your message, before crafting your ask, I'm challenging you to spend time reflecting on why it is you are even about to do this. Why are you communicating or asking for this? What is the purpose? Get grounded in that. That will build the confidence that it takes to go in and have that conversation. Share this with friends and family to help build the confidence to create greater communication, deeper communication, and find ways for everyone to achieve and win. I'm here to help you have that professional success and extraordinary personal life. Until next time.